JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy's back. I done did it again. Listen, Rocky Stack, we in here. So people have been asking me, hey man, when are we gonna start working with databases? Well, pretty simple. I'm gonna show you the little quick introduction to my sequel with the Rocky Stack. All right. So <laughs> okay, you're gonna find this link on your well on this video's description. Right, I'm gonna put that link there on how to install MySQL. Pretty much just follow the steps. You know, make sure you have installed Homebrew, then install MySQL with Brew. Then through Homebrew, you're gonna run uh, services. Basically, all you gotta do is copy every single thing that you see here. Of course, not the little dollar sign. The dollar sign, what it means is put it inside of the terminal. So you copy this, all right? Put it here paste right then from there sorry I'm just deleting this stuff okay so just copy that paste it copy this paste it here of course right so then here install MySQL then install homebrew then from there brew services start MySQL what this does is gonna start MySQL on your computer right you click that, it's already running on my computer. Then, of course, you're going to come here, check your brew services list. That's just to see that, oops, sorry, just to see that my SQL is actually running. So, you see, it says, it says my SQL started Joe Santos Garcia, which means it's already running in the background. Then, you click here, copy this, check if you have what version you have. Okay, version 14. Okay, then from there, you come here, you copy this, and then open the terminal to execute your file and set the root pass to whatever root password, right? This is just to set the, the password. So you take that, and then you, of course, you change this where it says your password, you name it to whatever you want it, right? And then from there, once you do that, it's going to set up a password for your your root, which is your user, right? If you guys don't know about this, it's fine. You just follow the steps. You're going to be fine. If you want to get more deeper into my SQL, of course, the courses are right there on my description. There's a great course on it. Or even you could even look on YouTube, search PHP MySQL or just regular MySQL, quick introduction. A lot of good videos is gonna come up, right? So, you come here, brew services start MySQL. You start it up, it's already starting, right? Now, from here, what you're going to do is, you're going to come in, okay, everything is good. You take this here, you basically type it on your terminal to check if you're good. What that's going to do is basically log you into MySQL, and then you're going to put in the password that you use. Usually, for my own computer, I just use root, so R-O-O-T. Now that you're inside of MySQL, we're basically going to create a database, right? So we're going to say create database movies and of course you got to put a semicolon but I always mess that up I hate semicolons man now we're going to exit out of my sequel right bye so pretty much now we set up my sequel now we got to go back to the database inside of you know, crystal lang rocky stag you know Come back to me. All right. So we're going to go into this file. So there's a file inside of source and then config and then database. So in here, you're going to see this thing, right? This is going to be actually, oops. This is actually going to be uh, commented out. So it's going to be like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to uncomment this and basically you're gonna put in your information so you're gonna say root and then whatever password you used 
and then the address where your MySQL uh, database is located at. Of course, there's the address to it, which is localhost, which is your computer. And then this one, 3306, is the port that is actually being hosted on. So usually, if you set it up exactly how I show you in the beginning, and you follow it, the you know the instructions of the page that I'm, I gave you that is on the description. Basically, you're gonna be fine. This is gonna be the the settings, right? And like I said before, if you want to make your life easier for the password, just put root. You know, just say root root, and then you're good. You know what I mean? So then of course here's where you put in the database so since we named them movies we come here and basically say okay movies we're actually using the database name movies right okay so now let's go to the routes all right i already set this up for you guys all right so you got movies right so when you go to get slash movies we're going to create a table and also put data inside of it all right cool so we're gonna paste this this is code that i already wrote for you guys because there's no point on me writing it but i will explain what's going on so basically you're saying okay this is my sequel we're basically running my sequel right and then the exec means execute right so inside of this quotes from there to there, we're basically running just a SQL statement. So we're saying, okay, create a table. If it doesn't exist, if not exist, movies. So we're naming a table inside of the database movies, right? So basically we're naming it movies, right? We created it. Now, inside of it, there's going to be an ID. There's going to be a title. There's going to be a year. There's going to be a description right the primary key is the ID and then it says okay let's break it down let's go back a little bit okay so ID is an integer not null, and it's auto increment so every time that you add a, a new one the number goes up by itself automatically right now title is basically a string so it says okay uh, you know characters 30 right so that's the maximum characters that I can have then year is an integer, which means it's a number. And then description means a long text. So it means that it's a long ass text, right? So it could be as many characters as they want, right? Of course, I think there is a limit, but it's like thousands of characters. So whatever, right? So then it says, okay, primary key ID. So what it means is whenever somebody's trying to look up any data inside of this table you know the primary key that they're gonna be using is the ID right so if I say hey I want to look for movie uh, Star Wars right I'm gonna give them ID one right because this is the first one that we're gonna create and then it'll be easier to find it right cool so let's say the second statement is my SQL execute and then it says insert into movies title year description so there's the area where the columns are at right and then it says insert into those values right star wars 1977 a cool movie right so what's going on here you see there's an order to it so it's saying okay title star wars year 1977 description a cool movie now if i move this thing to over here it's gonna mess up because it needs to be in the same order same order that you see here title year description so star wars 1977 a cool movie and then we're going to save this and we're going to run you know yarn run server and then everything should be gucci everything should be gucci <laughs> all right so we come here Right, and we say slash movies is gonna say hey uh rose affected one last inserted ID one so it gave us the last inserted ID right so if you guys never heard of SQL Pro there's another thing that if you want to look it up 
is it's called SQL Pro. It's totally free. You could download it. I'm also going to to add it to the description so you guys can look it up. This is very helpful whenever you want to see data and you know in the user interface. Instead of having to see it through the MySQL terminal, you could actually come here, add new data, edit the data, basically through your computer and through your Mac or whatever you got. So SQL Pro is free. It's pretty legit. All right, guys. So, yeah, let's see. Okay, let's start the SQL Pro. You see, once you download this thing, you'll see this thing where it says you put in, you name it whatever you want. For me, I name it localhost, and then I say, okay, this is the address to the localhost, username root, password root, and then, you know, you can put in 3306 if you want. Automatically, it already thinks that you're using that, so it's fine. Then you click connect, and then here you're going to see your, your tables. See, movies is the, the database that we created, right, in the beginning, all the way in the beginning, right? And then inside of it, there's a table called movies. And then that is going to have data inside of it. See, it says ID, title, year, description, and it tells you the type that it is. Is it allow no? You know, the whole shebang. If you guys don't know the basics of MySQL, it's fine. You guys could, you know, and you could take the course. It's that simple. It's like take the course uh, that I give you guys because this is super important. Right, you're definitely gonna need to know my sequel now for this project. This whole tutorial that I'm doing in the Rocky Stack, you don't have to be a master on SQL because all you're doing is following me, and I will explain to you what's going on. Right now, this is just an installation. Right now, it doesn't matter if you don't understand what the hell is going on, this is just to get you to install it and have a, a, a good life. All right, so <laughs> okay, so here you see content. You see that? You got the structure, shows you the data, what what type of columns they are, and then content, you're gonna see the information. See Star Wars, 1977, a cool movie. Now, if I come here and I say, hey, I wanna change this up. I wanna say, uh, Star Trek, let's say 1996, and then I say, you could ready for me. I said you movie, right? So save that, right? Okay. Now, if we run again, you know, reset the server and then bring it back up. Run servers loading. Once it load up, cool. Now, if we come back to this, refresh the page, it's going to create another one. And you see it gave it an ID of two. Now here, we're going to see two of them. See, Star Wars, Star Trek, All right? So yeah, man, now you already set up with MySQL and ready to go. Now, what was really cool about this is that with this example that I gave you guys, you could come here and start messing around with MySQL. If you've taken a course or online from somebody else or you've used another language like PHP, Node.js, you could actually come here and just mess around with, you know, MySQL, creating your own database, creating your own tables, try it out, give it a chance, you will be good. And yeah, man, you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, man. Coneface.com, your boy. You did. <laughs> make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you check out the courses on the description. If you don't know MySQL, trust me, guys. MySQL is like the backbone of everything. Literally, it's the backbone of like almost all the websites that you go to. Whenever you save your your information, you you put in your address, you put in your name. Most likely, they're using a SQL server, right? Or they're using some type of database, right? It doesn't matter if it's MongoDB, if it's MySQL, whatever it is. Most likely, they use some type of data database to save your data, right? So MySQL is like the best introduction to this world, right? It's going to make you into a full, full stack developer, somebody who really knows what's going on in the front end and the back end. And if you keep following me, 
I'm going to give you some good shit. You did? All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bow.